Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again. Today we're doing something special, doing a retro review of one of my favorite albums of all time. It's the 20th anniversary of this album in a couple weeks. I'm of course talking about Windier and their third album, 1184. I've actually got uh, the poster of it right there and I've got the actual CD right here too. Easily one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah, like I said, this is their third album. It's a follow-up to Arn Tour, which was their second album, which was fucking excellent. Their debut is great as well, but this one even took it to the next level. First two albums, it was just a one-man band, Valfar doing everything, songwriting, vocals, accordion, synths, keyboards, programming, guitar, absolutely everything. But here he recruited a lot of other musicians, his friends were that were in the band Olsis, also from Norway. He brought in basically the whole band to help out put this album together. So in addition to Valfar doing still pretty much everything, vocals, guitar, keyboards, accordion, synths, then he had Stuer on guitars, Strom on guitars, Steingrim on drums, Rai on keys, and Haval on bass. And also in addition to this, they bring in Cosmo Crater to do some clean vocals because uh, Valfar just does the screaming, but there's a lot of good parts on here where these clean vocals brought in as well. It's not technically a band member, but I want to give him a shout out because his clean vocals on this album are absolutely awesome. So the title of this album is like a reference to the Battle of Fimrite. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but basically it was a battle for the Norwegian throne in the year 1184, which is fucking awesome. This is notable for being their first album where they actually had a lot of English songs. First two albums was all in the Sogna dialect. Here, like six out of the eight songs are actually in English. Um, of course, yeah, if you know about Windir, you know Valfar died at the age of 25 in 2004 in pretty much the most metal way ever. Just got stuck in a snowstorm, died of hypothermia. It's absolute tragedy. This band was just on the high trajectory going up and up. The songwriting was getting so fucking good at this point. They did put out one more album after 1184 titled Lickford. That's the shirt I'm wearing. That's another fucking awesome album. And after Valfar passed away, unfortunately, then the other members of the band went on to join, to form Vride, which is another great band, but nothing quite on the level of Windir. Their four albums is the Stuff of Legends, and this is probably my favorite album by them. This is eight tracks. It's about 51 to 52 minutes. So I'm going to kind of just run through each song and then give you an overall ranking out of 10 at the end. I'll just start this by saying like this whole album to me is just pure musical bliss like through and through. There's so much fucking melody in here and it's just beautiful folky black metal. There's not too many bands that sound anything like Winder. It's just the perfect blend of folk and black metal and so much fucking melody. This album, the songwriting is so amazing. Musicianship is top notch. The keyboards are really prominent and they really add just this beautiful folky element and bring the melodies out so much. Valfar's vocals are so passionate and energetic, even though it's screaming and it's very harsh and evil sounding, you can still just hear the fucking passion in his voice. And these songs are just catchy and super fucking memorable. And that's why this album stands the test of time. Yes, 20 years later and I still listen to this like on the regular. Can never get tired of this album. It's fucking awesome. So without further ado, let's just get into this. Album kicks off opening track Todes Waltzer. Might be mispronouncing that. I think it roughly translates to Death Waltz. And it's just great. Got a nice little keyboard like synth intro that then just goes right into some great black metal tremolo riffing. Fucking awesome. The screaming comes in and there are some nice clean vocal parts in here too by Cosmo Creator. And yeah, the, the riffs, they just really build fucking awesome. And the melodies really drive this song. Really awesome way to open the album. It's a fucking great opening track. Really sets the tone for what you're in for with this album. After that, it kicks into the title track, 1184. This is one of the couple songs that's not in English. This is still in the Sogna dialect. And yeah, there's really great accordion parts in here. This is like your typical, if you've never heard Windier before, you can go listen to this song to really know what they're about, that they throw in some accordion and some keyboards and really great melodic tremolo riffs with like higher arpeggio parts. Like the melodies are just so fucking great. The riffs in here are fucking awesome. Valfar singing is so aggressive and evil sounding on this song, but then like interspersed with the gorgeous melodies, it just works so well. Not too many bands could have that beautiful side with all this folky stuff and then really aggressive evil black metal singing and just make it fucking beautiful. But Windir is the masters of this. It's so goddamn good. And this song is no exception. 
Then after that, it goes into Dance of Mortal Lust. This one's fucking awesome as well. The main riff is just super fucking catchy. The drumming stands out a lot on this song. Really fucking awesome. And like, even the lyrics and vocals are just fucking great. Come to me, I can find your trust. Join me in the stand of mortal lust. Like, fuck. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Then that leads into one of my favorite tracks from the album, The Spirit Lord. The main riff in this song is pretty simple, but it's just like a basic driving black metal riff. But then it just goes into blasting fast tempo section right after that with like blast beats, really fast guitar riffs, and then crazy screaming. And then something they do a lot on this album is they'll like scream a verse and then have a clean singing of the exact same thing, which is fucking awesome. Uh, great lyrics on here again, like the endless gap between servant and lord. We'll go stronger within our soul. And then part I'm talking about where they kind of scream, then do clean singings like a dark narcissistic dimension, a new world to come, the end of civilization, the arrival of the spirit lord. And a dark narcissistic dimension, a new world to come, the end of civilization, the arrival of the spirit lord. Like, don't listen to my singing. I try not to sing too much in these videos because I'm not very good, but go listen to the fucking song, how it's got the screaming, then the clean singing, and it's just fucking awesome. So goddamn good. Easily one of my favorite tracks on the album. After that, it goes into one of the fastest and heaviest songs on the album titled Hydra. This is another one that's in the song, The Dialect. This just has such great melody underneath, even though it's so fucking heavy. Like, this song is just relentless. The guitar is so fast, like, like, fuck, you, I can't even, like, pretend to play it that fast. Just go listen to it, heavy as fuck, but suits it so goddamn well. And then right after that, it goes to possibly one of my favorite Windier songs ever, one of their most well-known songs for sure, which is Destroy. This just starts off with a great, like, marching drumbeat in intro to kind of just, like, build it up, like, and then it just explodes into black metal fury with such killer riffs, great fucking screaming. On the rest I stand, watching fallen men, look the dawn's hatred, great at the desire. So fucking good, I kind of butchered the lyrics there for a sec, but it's so goddamn good. The chorus is great, destroy all dreams, illusions, stabbed in fire, a hellish. Needful power is my dark desire. And then it like slows down in the middle of the song. It's got really like nice keyboard part like dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, with nice keyboards in the background. And then another just awesome verse. I burn and slay until you obey. I rape, destroy your legacy. So fucking evil sounding, but absolutely awesome. Just easily one of the best songs ever. One of my favorites on the album. If you've never heard Winder before, Joe, go check out Destroy right now. It'll blow your fucking mind. After that, it goes into Black New Age. Another very fast fucking song. Very much like a very fast tremolo riff that's just driving it. There's some accordion in there as well, which really brings out the melody, even though it's a fast, aggressive song. And yeah, it's, this one's almost got like a thrashy black metal feel to it. The double kicks by the drummer on this song are just relentless. It sounds so fucking good, so up-tempo. And then that leads into one of the best closing songs ever, not just for Winder or for Black Metal, just period. One of the best album closers ever of all fucking time, Journey to the End. Easily one of my favorite Winder songs as well. The main riff in this song, just a nice, simple, slow, like, tremolo riff, but it's so melodic and fucking gorgeous. And uh, yeah, it's, once again, they do kind of this scream part and then clean sing it in the same way. This one's almost like prophetic about his death, like he's singing about his death. And this was a few years before it, but it's like, it's sad, but gorgeous at the same time. Like, I embrace my vision as it was common for me, a fate, a destiny. Finally, I'm dead and the vision is revealed for everyone else. So fucking awesome. And then after about like three and a half minutes, like this is about a nine minute song, but the first like three and a half minutes are black metal excellence. 
And then it does something completely different and kind of goes into like a synth techno outro, which definitely sounds odd for black metal, but it really works. It kind of puts you in a trance and it's just a really awesome way to end the album. It just like fades out with that and you just get lost in it. It's fucking great. I can't pump up this song and this album enough, like easily one of my favorite albums of all goddamn time. So now it's time to give it a ranking out of 10. This one to me is basically a perfect album. I am giving it a 10 out of 10. I try not to give too many albums a 10 out of 10 these days, but this is easily a top 10 album of all fucking time for me. This is a 10 out of 10, perfect album, absolute masterpiece. Love to celebrate the 20 year anniversary with this fucking review for this album. Anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. I'd love to hear yours down below. What do you think of 1184? Do you love it as much as I do? What do you think Windier would have done with their fifth album if they would have been able to keep going? Anyways, just give me a like, give me a subscribe. Definitely go listen to this album if you've never heard it before. And until next time, Hammer Heart Metal Reviews, out!